Playing cards are the most played card games. Playing cards which we have seen many times in the hands of everyone, young and old, rich and poor, still maintain their popularity from past to present. The fame of playing cards is quite widespread in the world due to their use in both games and special shows. The history of playing cards, which are so preferred, is also full of interesting information. If you are ready with your coffee and in front of your screens, here we go. Playing cards are thought to have originated in China between the 7th and 9th centuries. Later adopted by the Arabs and Mongols, playing cards began to spread to Europe after the 10th century. In Europe, playing cards first became popular in Italy and Spain, and later became popular in France. The designs of hearts, spades, diamonds, clubs, red and black cards that we know today in playing cards have become a tradition created by the French. It was also in the 17th century that the king, queen, and jack were dressed in French dress and armed with weapons. When playing cards enriched with French culture reached England, a different event took place. England imposed a tax on playing cards. This tax was done with a stamp on the ace of spades at the top of the playing cards. As a result of this event in England, the ace of spades became famous as the most valuable card. This tradition and culture, which originated in France, spread rapidly to the masses, first in Europe and then in America, as Germany's printing presses made playing cards faster and more numerous. There is a hierarchical order of playing cards created by France. The only card that breaks the hierarchical order is the ace. The ace card symbolizes the number one at the bottom of the playing cards. For this reason, it is seen as the least valuable card. It was paired with an ordinary commoner. In the 18th century, the success of the democratization steps in America was a breaking point for the ace in playing cards. With this democratization process, the ace became the most valuable card because with the success of the democratization process, the ordinary commoner was now seen as superior to the king. Therefore, the ace became the most valuable card in the deck of cards. The four different symbols created by the French have taken on special meanings over time. Clubs, Jack stands for Alexander the Great. Clubs, Queen for Argea. Clubs, King for Sir Lancelot. Diamond Jack represents Julius Caesar. Diamond's Queen represents Rachel, the wife of Jacob and Diamond's King represents Prince Hector. Hearts Jack represents Lahir. Hearts Queen represents Judith, and Hearts King represents Charles VII. Finally, the Spade symbol represents Jack Ogier, the Dane, the Spades. Queen represents Athena, and the Spades King represents David. According to some historians, the Club symbol represents the peasantry, while the Diamond symbol represents the merchants. The symbol of hearts represents the clergy, while the symbol of spades represents the nobility and the army. Poker, bridge, canasta, blackjack, pinocchio, spades, solitaire are some of the popular games played with playing cards. Although the number of players, tactics, and rules vary depending on the game, playing cards are the main factor. Apart from games, playing cards are also a material frequently used in magic shows. The magician's creativity and the shows performed with cards leave surprising and mesmerizing effects on the audience. These shows are a perfect combination of the magician's creativity and skill. Indeed, a mastery is required for this work. Long practice and a creative game plan are essential elements in the creation of impressive shows. These magic shows attract everyone, men and women, young and old. We have all witnessed such shows many times in our lives. Playing cards have been used for games, magic shows, but over the years they have gone beyond these.
playing cards started to be used to predict the future. But over time, they also became an important material for fortune telling. Playing cards have been used for many years to predict the future and reveal personality traits. Many people believe that the cards carry different meanings with specific symbols and images. For example, the Ace of Hearts represents love or happiness, while the Five of Diamonds symbolizes difficulties or obstacles. However, the meanings of these symbols are not universal. In many regions, the cards have been assigned different symbolic meanings by many different communities. Even though there is no universal unity, fortune-telling by playing cards is quite famous in the world. Playing cards have become a versatile material with a wealth of history and culture. For centuries, these cards have helped people to have fun and strengthen social interactions. Playing cards continue to be a fun and universal tool for people of all ages to come together and have a good time. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts and ideas about the video with us in the comments section. You can also turn on notifications to get more content and be part of our community. See you in the next video.